It is one tool in an arsenal used to detect, prevent, and mitigate the spread of COVID-19. We're talking about pulse oximeters and how measuring blood oxygen is being widely used by hospitals and nursing homes as one indicator that something, including COVID, could be looming could be looming. Cindy Long tells us how one nursing home in New Jersey put the devices to use. To be living in a nursing home as the coronavirus took its grip. I was scared because I have four children and five grandchildren now. 64-year-old Stephen Murth and fellow residents were happy to have their blood oxygen levels measured by means of a pulse oximeter several times a day. And it was very odd on the morning that we got our actual first positive, we noticed that there were about eight people that had dropped, you know, below. No other symptoms, no other signs. At Luther Woods Nursing and Rehab Center in Horsham. There was a light bulb moment when we, you know, looked at the data and said something is going on. We what began as one COVID case multiplied in two weeks to 19, and five residents died of the virus. It was petrifying. But by measuring blood oxygen, they believe it helped them save lives. It's an early indication detector that as you're waiting for results to come back, you're starting, you need all the help you can get. They, like other nursing homes, quickly isolated residents. Luther Woods had already been working with New Jersey-based Megadata, analytics firm who found that a head of residents presenting with a fever. But our data was able to detect the pattern and let a facility know okay. that the beginning of an outbreak was potentially starting. Not everyone who had a drop in blood oxygen got COVID, but some did. To our understanding right, of, of COVID, it is a tool, using pulse oximetry is a tool, to say, you know, we're going to use one tool and only one tool would be a mistake. Dr. Tarun Kapoor, who is the senior vice president of clinical integration at Virtua Hospital, says pulse oximeters are being much more widely used during the pandemic. In fact, COVID patients who are not very ill get one once discharged. We can send them home with the pulse oximeter and combine that with some telemedicine visits where we can visualize them just to make sure they don't get into a danger zone and get into this concept of silent hypoxia. The U.S. has more than 2.8 million cases. Over 130 to 100,000 deaths have been linked to the illness nationwide. And still ahead at noon, we have a budget-friendly dish from the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Stay with us.